kind of starting to rain a little bit here. Um, I didn't get any of my water, but um, I mean, I'm doing okay. I don't have, I'm not saying I don't have anything. I said I need a little bit more. Um, but yeah, here in the trekker, just kind of hanging out. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, I just got to move my pack. I brought my pack in and I got to move what I have as far as my clothes. Did you hear that? Wow. But yeah, we're up here at about 10,000 something feet here next to Barney Lake. And uh, it's been a great trip so far. go back and forth across the sky, man. It was just the craziest thing. So I finally got my coffee going. I'm gonna have it in the uh, jet boil cup because I didn't bring an extra cup, but uh, yeah, gonna be nice and tasty. Well, we are here. We're here at this camp. Uh, we're, at, uh, we're at Barney Lake. I don't know what exactly has been going on, but man, I was, I was not doing good up the trail. I don't know if this whole uh, not being terribly active during COVID and what have you has kind of done it to me, but man, I really struggled. This one, now granted, we are at 10,000 feet, so that doesn't exactly help the situation, but it was, uh, it was interesting. Once we got that rain and kind of was sitting in my tent, I was getting out, man, I was getting intense cramps in my legs and yeah, it was something else, but um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. We're supposed to go up over Duck Pass right out there. We're gonna go over that thing tomorrow, but we'll see how everything goes. I'm feeling a lot better now that I've been able to kind of get some electrolytes in me and get some more water in me. But I did not expect that coming up to this place. Well, finally finished off dinner. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can take some shots here, take some more photos. Matt kind of has a really nice spot over there. Apparently I'd found a really glassy spot earlier. Um, right down over here, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do as far as uh, pictures. Let me widen out a little bit and kind of see what we're looking at. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some pictures and try to get rid of some of these stinking skeeters, man. Holy moly. Too. It is, uh, I slept really, really quite well last night. I was very surprised. Uh, we got another little rain shower uh, right after I went to bed. I don't know if that helped me sleep a little bit better, but uh, yeah, it was nice, toasty, and warm in the, uh, in the tent. And yeah, I slept pretty good. And then last night around 3 a.m., I had to wake up to go to the restroom and Man, all the stars were out. I guess the clouds had got blown, got, had got blown out. And uh, yeah, it was pretty gorgeous. We were able to get some pretty nice star shots. So 
really happy about that. Today, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. We're gonna at least go up to Duck Pass, uh, up and over Duck Pass. We might stop at Duck Lake. We might stop at Purple Lake. Purple Lake is where we're supposed to be going. But um, I don't know, man. We'll see how the lakes feel. Um, I think I'm feeling a lot better in general, but man, I was really surprised about yesterday and how everything went. And uh, just, yeah, how, man, I don't know if I stepped weird or whatever, but my left knee was really hurt and really bad. But uh, yeah, all in all, everything's good. Gonna get some breakfast going and uh, I'll head on out here soon. A little bit different thing this morning. Doing some uh, some Quaker oats, a little maple and brown sugar action. Promises to be a good uh, good experience. Alrighty, so having my uh, my oatmeal here. Mine's a little bit soupy, but uh, certainly not as bad as Anthony's. <laughs> Anthony, uh, I think he was literally going for oatmeal soup. <laughs> Bro, is that even gonna fit in that cup? It's not even gonna fit in the cup, dude. I just need to dump it out into it. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Sierra Nevada. So look at that little bit of rippage over there in my uh, sleeping bag. I'm gonna have to tape that up. That's a really bad tear. I don't know when the heck that happened, but uh, I noticed uh, at night I was like, man, there sure are a lot of down feathers. I was thinking this thing was just maybe shedding, you know, pretty much every uh, every down bag sheds a little bit, but I guess we found the culprit. And there we have the fix, courtesy of Anthony Sardinia. He hooked me up with a, with a little bit of tenacious tape. But yeah, man, how about that, man? Look at the size of that hole. Holy moly. Glad that's remedied. Well, that's what we're gonna be going over today. The, uh, the trail is right over there, leading up, and then uh, we're gonna go over Duck Pass at minimum. It's been a pretty good morning so far. Weather's wonderful. Here with my two buddies. Got Anthony and uh, Matt here. We're all having a great time. Just look at that. We just made it to the top of Duck Pass and uh, look at what is greeting us on the other side. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous out there. Morning's been pretty windy. I don't even know if you can hear me right now because it's 
blowing wind again, but yeah, we made it to the top of Duck Pass, baby. Dude, that was not that was not easy. My uh, my knee has been killing me, but uh, we're here. We'll see where we end up going from here. Maybe I could talk these guys into a little break and uh, and get a quick snack after that uh, that climb. So good stuff. Well, thank goodness uh, Matt was around. He noticed his shelter sitting over here. I was about to walk right past it because I'm exhausted and can't even tell my surroundings from uh, from my next step. But uh, yeah, how about this place? It's kind of built into the rock and just kind of in the middle of nowhere, right off of Duck Lake. I'm only feeling marginally better. Um, I don't know, man. My knee really, really was acting up on this uh, this trip. I don't know what the deal is, but boy, it hurts really bad. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm having a good time, man. Don't get me wrong. It's not. It's not like I'm not having a good time. I'm having a great time. But I just wish that my knee was feeling a lot better because, uh, yeah, just simple things like getting up and down, <laughs> sitting down sitting down in my tent, getting up out of my tent. All those hurt really badly with, uh, with, my knee, with my knee acting the way it is. And then tomorrow we're gonna have to go up a little ways, which is not a problem. It's going down that I'm worried about. There's a lot of really big steps and what have you. Um, it should be pretty interesting as we make our way down um, tomorrow. I don't know. That's the part that I'm kind of most concerned about. It's not going up that's usually the problem. It's going down that's a problem, so. We'll see how everything goes tomorrow. Tonight we're gonna to get some really cool, uh, cool shots. The scenery is absolutely out of this world. Um, I couldn't be happier with that. Uh, it's very exciting. I can't wait till it gets a little bit darker and uh, the light changes. But even tonight we're gonna to be able to get some really, really cool uh, nighttime shots. Get some cool star shots. Probably see the Milky Way over the over the scenery that we have over here. These wonderful mountains. And uh, yeah. Still having a good time despite the, all the knee problems. Alrighty, well, we made it back up to uh, the peak of Lake Sign, and uh, we're gonna go over Duck Pass again and head back down the trail. This has been one heck of a fun adventure, I have to admit, man. My knee has been in a lot of pain, but despite that, everywhere I turn, it's just beauty on top of beauty. So, really happy I was able to come out here with these guys and uh, experience all this. 